Hello again, everyone. Um, I was having a bit of a play this morning and I had the blockhead stamps out for, for doing the bleaching technique yesterday. And I must apologise to people for, people for my coughing fit. It was due to the fact I didn't have the window open and I think the bleach just kind of caught in my throat. So whenever you do use when you're using bleach or anything like that, do make sure that room, the room you're in is ventilated well enough. Anyway, today I wanted to use another, as I say, another one of these blockhead stamps and they're little sort of rectangular things. And this one was just as a set of tulips. And what I had a, a fancy for was to make a little recess for those tulips to be framed with. Um, so what I wanted to do was just to deboss that particular shape and then stamp within it. And that caused a, a, few, <laughs> a few head scratchings. So I decided I would use my Misty again. The stamp is, is still in it, which I'm going to take out because this one is probably going to be slightly different from the last one. It's just tulip heads. So what I, what I did to go about working out how I was going to do this um, debossing was the first thing was to measure the actual stamped area and I then made well I cut a, a piece that size from it's fairly thick cardboard it's a packaging I think it's the kind of stuff that you get on the back of an envelope that says do not bend on the front you know you know what I mean so that is just about the right size for that stamp to go in okay that was the first thing so i had to decide what size or shape card to do this in and i am denard and all the rest of it and i finished up with this which is a five by seven five by seven so i cut a front panel and i cut a card base like this um, and then what I did was to cut some um, scrap the size of the card panel. Got two here. And the reason being was I wanted to use this as a guide so that I could get the positioning right in my Misty. Okay, this was my first attempt here. I, I stamped on there to see if, what it would look like. This, fine tried a few sentiments and looking at these sentiments this was the one I chose merely because the strength of the line the line of this is very similar to the line of the tulips and so that's the one I decided to go with it was a freebie from a magazine so let me show you what I did you can probably see two two bits of, of colouring here when I was testing the, the stamp uh, to see if it was in the right place I decided it needed to be moved just a tad one way so I used a different colour ink so that I could determine which position was the right one okay let's let's kind of take you through it first thing that I did was take one of these and just tape it to the back of my front panel with a little bit of low tack tape. Okay. I think I'm doing it how I did it. I, as I said, there was <laughs> so much head scratching, you will not believe. Okay, that is the back. The reason I'm taping it to the back is this. I want to emboss or deboss, should I say, this piece of card to make that deep depression in there for me to be able to put my stamp into. Why I have got the one on the back is that that will also get a mark so that I can use that in my Misty to try and get the right position for the stamp. So I'm just going to decide where this is going to go and then tape it down to the card again with low tack tape. I tend to eyeball, eyeball these things if you are you know 
very meticulous do do measure but i finish up measuring and still getting it wrong so i just decide to have a go as i am let me just have a look and see if that looks it looks okay right and i had to fiddle around with my die cutting machine a little to try and um, get the sandwich correct for this piece of cardboard um it didn't work with my um what did they call this adapter plate that was too thick i was playing around with all sorts of things and i think what i came up with was the two cutting plates no platform top two cutting plates and a rubber mat so let's just see so i've got my piece of scrap i've got my card base and my piece of card to, to, to make the impression so i'm going to put this with a second cutting plate over the top actually i'm going to change those around because this one is a bit scarred let's put that one underneath because it's going to touch the card that on top let's make, check it's in the right place i think so and now a top plate and we'll take this through Right, let's take off our low tech tape. This is from Sticks to Anything, and I love it. There we go. And now we have that nice debossed piece area of the card ready to, to take the stamp. But my under, under piece has got a debossed area as well. Don't think I can tear that off there, very. I just cut it. Okay, now this is where the, mis the misty comes in. These two are exactly the same. This de debossed area is in exactly the same place on both pieces of card because one was underneath the other. Right, now I get my misty. There it is. And I'm going to pop this in the corner of my misty. Right. Now I'm going to try and place my stamp where I think it's going to fit into that debossed area. Got it the right way up. Yep. It's kind of tricky because the you can't see through this stamp, obviously. And uh, is it fairly straight? I think it might be straight. Let's just have a try. See where it is got the black first of all. Let's just see if it's in the right place. That looks pretty darn good, doesn't it really? I think, I think that's going to be okay. Right, leaving that where it is, I am now going to put the actual card panel in. And I'm going to stamp the panel ink again. And I want to um, just add a little bit of clear embossing powder to this. So I shall get it out fairly quickly. If I can... Yes, it's down there ready. Right. And stamp. Fab. Now let me get it into the embossing powder because it's ink will dry more quickly than something like Versamark, for example. There we go, in, tap, 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 and then I'll just heat that up. These are just lovely stamps. Absolutely love them. I noticed that uh, my baby wipes a lot of the the fluff 
is coming off them and so I have to get out my um, kind of a chamois thing. It's a lawn horn do a chamois and uh, nu Nouveau do a similar sort of something as well. So there we have our flowers and the reason I like to have a panel obviously for anything with alcohol markers is the fact that um, it will show through to the back. Okay, right. Um, I don't know whether to do them the same colour. Well, perhaps I should use some pencils since you use, use some pencils instead just to change. Why don't we use some pencils? Um, let's have. I've got some ink tense pencils here. Let's have a, have a try of these just, just for a change to be a little bit different. And what colour? We'll have similar colours just to see the, the different effects, I think. So I'll use a deepish red and a brighter red and a little bit of warmish yellow as well, perhaps. Let's try this. Because this I'll need to use um, a paintbrush and a dock of water. So let's just let's start with the deepest colour. Where the, where the shading is... On these stamps that's where you would put your darkest color for coloring with pencils and markers or anything else really Do you know I, I've had some lovely comments from people especially when little Cleo was here bless her she um, she does love she does love finding things for me doing things in my craft room. She found a little tiny um, arrow die that I'd actually used for her auntie's wed <laughs> wedding invitations. And I'd lost it and it was in a box of beads or something and she found it. And since that moment, she's been, Granny, what can I find for you? What can I find for you? And she's brilliant. She gets down on, on the floor and under the cupboards and she finds all sorts of all sorts of things that have gone a well okay there now we'll use a bit of the next shade just in places because the the water when I come to use that will mix these up I haven't done any colouring pencils until yesterday for ages and uh, I've got so many I really ought to use them more. I think sometimes we get more pleasure from actually knowing we've got stuff than actually using it and I think I really need to look in the drawers see what I've got and you know give things an airing really. Right so let's put a bit of this one. I'm going to leave a few white spaces because the water will drag Drag it into those that those areas. Right. Right. Let's get a little brush. What shall we use? That little chap. We could do. Let's try and just get a water. Right. You can use a water brush, of course, just to drag the colour around. <laughs> it's like I can't walk and chew gum. I lose the power of speech and I'm concentrating. I mean, colouring is a matter of total, total matter of personal preference, whatever you like to colour with, whether it's markers or crayons or pastels, paint, watercolour, whatever. So many different things open to us. It 
sometimes I'll do just one colour and then um, use the water with that and then go back. But often I just do, you know, what I fancy at the time. I don't, I'm not a trained artist, so I just don't, I just don't know. I did get offered a place at art school, but I went to teacher training college instead. Where they put me in a painting group and I couldn't paint for toffee, so I actually changed to a craft group instead. Right, now all that's left for me to do is to put the sentiment on. And the stamp is here. As I said, this is it's actually in two parts, this stamp. It's um it's sending birthday and then the wishes is separate. Um but I put it underneath and the stamp, as I said, is from this. It's a huge set. This one that came with a magazine. You can see it's you know, it was in the front of a magazine pack. Um and there's some really lovely, lovely sentiments and things on here. So um, I think it's going to come in handy. That's the hugs that goes, goes with this. But as I say, I, I, I chose it because of the, um, the, the depth of the line, the, the thickness of the line, the weight of it. Okay. I need to get over this just to see where I am. I could do this in my misty as well, but I'm just going to do it here. There we go. So there's another one. I don't know whether you prefer the um, watercolour, the Inktense pencils, or the um, markers. I might even put some um, glaze or something on that. Who knows? Quick bit of um, foam tape. Again, from Sticks to Anything, the same company that make the low-tack tape. They do all sorts of wonderful sticky things. So have a bit of fun and maybe, you know, look in, look in your cupboard to see what you've got. Huh. Try and use some of the things that have been sitting there giving you pleasure by being dormant. I do have so many things. It's, I, I, I didn't even realise I had the spectrum noir pencils until yesterday they just sit there and you know be behave themselves so anyway i'm just putting this bit of um foam tape around the debossed area so that um that will be raised from the card uh, around it and the, the, that can be more prominently look, prominent looking um between it Okie doke, one tiny more bit and we're in business. There we go. So, take it off. Um, thank you so many people, all these people who, who have subscribed. I am so grateful to you. Um, thank you for liking the, the, the uh, videos when you watch them. I tend, it is something that I personally tend to forget to do. I watch a video and I really enjoy it. And, you know, I, I often forget to, to hit the like button. And it apparently is something to do with making videos more readily available to people who would like to watch them. So, you know, all those likes do, do help. So thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And... Uh, do take stay safe and thank you so much for watching i am most most grateful and there we go don't know which you prefer interesting whatever bye now